you're going to have a tremendous platform, but where is that going to be on your radar in terms of advocating for um, you know, athletes, all athletes, transgender athletes, to be able to play? Oh, I mean that that ranks high on the on the list of, of things that I'll be fighting for and speaking up against. You know, everyone has everyone deserves the right to play. Mm. Brittany Griner now adding her voice to the debate over transgender athletes. She's a WNBA star slamming the push to ban biological men from competing against biological women. Fox News contributor Douglas Murray is here on this. Nice to see you, sir. Good morning. I, I think the key line is. Everyone deserves the right to play. So she's now weighed in on this. She's got a big voice. What do you think? Um, I suppose it's sort of lucky that Brittany Griner is not just starting off in her career. Uh, because if these are the rules when she was starting off, then you know, the whole thing might be different. The problem we have in America on this is that there's, there's a very distinct lack, actually, of women defending women in the public square on issues like this. And that isn't the case in every other country. And for instance, in, uh, in my own country of origin, Britain, um, uh, there have been very, very prominent women, not just in sports, but across the, 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 the political and social platforms who, who, who have objected to precisely this. So, so when someone like Brittany Griner says, actually, I'm going to fight for men to play in women's sports is just another blow against lots of young female athletes. That, who, she said she thinks it's a crime. I, I mean, all I can think is that she's just overstating it for some other sort of mm -hmm. purpose. Because, I mean, tread back even a few years, wouldn't it be ridiculous if you said it should be? It, it's basically a crime for a biological male with with huge shoulders, for instance, to compete against women and be allowed to beat them in the swimming pool or in a boxing ring or anything else. It's absurd. It's an absurd overstatement. It's an overstatement that's only coming about because there's been so much push in recent years uh, uh, to push an idea which is obviously nonsense, which is that biological men and biological women are interchangeable. Yeah. There is a clip of a volleyball game where a transgender male playing with women spikes the ball. And right. it hits this woman in the face, and she just goes down. Yeah. And may maybe you need one of these moments in, in, a, in a boxing ring well, or the, some already, sort of physical but we've contact. Already had you them. see that. We've already had that. I mean, one of the things that uh, Joe Rogan, uh, the pro prominent podcaster, one of the things that made him wake up to this issue is he's an MMA fighter. Correct. And when Joe Rogan saw biological males who are transitioning to female beating the hell out of biological females in the ring, yeah. he started to think, Whoa, What are we doing? What yeah, are we I, doing I here? Like, why, why are we cheering this on? Yeah, you mentioned women are not speaking out about this. Mm -hmm. There are some women, some. though. I mean, yesterday we had a two-time Olympian on our show, Mara Yamayuchi. Mm -hmm. uh, let me roll this clip, too, and then I'll tell you what Martina Navratilova is saying, too. Watch. People are saying, you know, for God's sake, why are you... Why are you fussing over this? Nearly 14,000 women in the female category suffered a worse finishing position because of his presence. It doesn't only matter on the, on the podium. The achievements of female athletes at all levels, all ages, matters. And males do not belong in the female category. Uh, th that's one. Uh, and here's Martina Navratilova, and she's been outspoken about the Leah Thomas thing, says her critics are using feminism, claims the high transphobia. Um, and then, you know, you've got Martina speaking out saying, we don't need to explain this to you over and over. Stop explaining yeah. feminism to feminists. Yeah. Uh, and Martina Navratilova is a real trailblazer in her own career, of course. Um, I, I just I would just wish there were more cases of this because all the time, uh, as we see in the Brittany Griner example, all the time the, the, the rhetoric is being ramped up by the sort of pro-trans uh, lobby. We saw yesterday Whoopi Goldberg claiming that the Bible uh, shows that transgender people should be given gender reaffirming care. I mean, that, that, and that, that's a major celebrity in this country making a flat-out false claim that God created man and woman, and also sometimes you've got the wrong parts and you should have surgery that's only in a test stage at the moment and do that. This is deranging nonsense. It's not going away. And it's so not. We'll see where it goes, Douglas. Good to have you on today. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.